Step into the world of espionage with the iconic TV series Get Smart. Premiering in 1965, this comedy gem follows the bumbling yet lovable spy Maxwell Smart as he navigates the absurdities of the secret agent life. The show is a blend of humor, wit, and unexpected twists that keep you hooked from episode to episode. Wondering if there's a particular scene that left a lasting impact on you, or perhaps among the many roles in the series, which one was your absolute favorite? Get ready for a roller coaster of funny, shocking, and even sad facts as you continue watching. Now, we're curious to know what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic TV series. Share your stories and reflections in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Stay tuned for more exciting facts about Get Smart and let the memories unfold. It's a journey worth taking. Keep watching and don't forget to share your thoughts. And embark on a journey into the realm of espionage with the captivating TV series Get Smart. In the bustling era of 1965, this comedy masterpiece introduces us to the endearing yet klutzy spy Maxwell Smart. Picture this a world where humor, wit, and unexpected twists converge to create a truly unique viewing experience. This show isn't just a testament to the creative brilliance of its time. It draws viewers into a landscape where the complexities of the secret agent life are seamlessly woven into a multifaceted tapestry of entertainment. The series, with its remarkable contributions, has etched its place in the annals of television history. What makes it truly intriguing is its ability to resonate with audiences across generations. The characters, plot twists, and comedic genius of the writing have left an indelible mark on the hearts of viewers. One can't help but marvel at the versatility of the narrative, offering a mix of funny, shocking, and even poignant moments. In the world of spy comedies, Get Smart stands out as a captivating and enduring piece of storytelling. The characters, each with their own quirks and intricacies, add depth to the narrative. Whether it's the charming Agent 99 or the ever-resourceful Chief, the ensemble cast brings the series to life in a way that keeps us hooked episode after episode. As you continue watching, you might find yourself reminiscing about your most cherished moments or personal experiences tied to this classic TV series. Perhaps a particular scene left you in stitches or a character's antics became your absolute favorite. The show, with its captivating narrative, has become a part of our own personal histories. So, what's your story? Share your reflections and memories in the comments below. Let's create a space where fans can connect over their love for this iconic series. Keep watching and let the laughter and nostalgia unfold. It isn't just a show, it's a journey worth taking. Influence radiates beyond the confines of a TV screen, and the 1965 spy sitcom didn't merely entertain. It left an indelible mark on the landscape of television, influencing subsequent shows, movies, and media. Its impact is unmistakable, shaping the trajectory of spy comedies that followed. During the same era, comparable shows sought to capture the essence of espionage with varying success. However, it stood out not only for its humor, but also for its unique blend of wit and unexpected twists. While others attempted to navigate the complexities of the spy world, none quite matched the comedic genius that defined Maxwell Smart's escapades. The ensemble cast, featuring the charming Agent 99 and the resourceful Chief, contributed to the enduring legacy. Their quirks and intricacies added depth to the narrative, creating characters that resonated with audiences. This dynamic cast chemistry became a benchmark for subsequent productions attempting to replicate the success. In the wake of its success, the world witnessed a surge in spy comedies that drew inspiration from its narrative versatility. The impact extended to movies and other forms of media where the influence of the bumbling yet lovable spy persona could be detected. The formula of mixing humor with the intricacies of espionage became a blueprint for success. As viewers engaged with subsequent spy-themed content, echoes of the show reverberated through the comedic elements and unexpected plot twists. The series became a reference point, a touchstone that creators turned to for inspiration. It wasn't merely a journey into the absurdities of the spy world, it was a catalyst for a new wave of entertainment. Its influence, evident in the fabric of subsequent shows and media, solidified its place in the annals of television history. The laughter it invoked and the unique storytelling it offered became a legacy that continues to shape the way we view spy comedies today. In conclusion, it wasn't just a show. It became a source of inspiration that transcended its time, leaving an enduring imprint on the entertainment industry. 
1965, a TV series made a covert entrance into the public eye. Before its debut, a clever promotional campaign engaged top television critics with sealed envelopes stamped top secret. These mysterious messages hinted at the comedic intrigue that awaited viewers. From deciphering invisible messages to playful warnings in Dutch, the campaign set the stage for a unique blend of humor and secrecy. Co-creator Mel Brooks had a moment of regret when he first saw the opening titles. The credit created by Mel Brooks with Buck Henry inadvertently downplayed Henry's ongoing role as the script editor. Brooks, involved only in the pilot, felt a pang of remorse as the credits seemed to overshadow Henry's significant contribution to the series. Notably, the acronyms Control and COWS, representing the opposing spy agencies, never had official meanings. Despite their intended significance, Mel Brooks and Buck Henry never assigned specific words to these letters, leaving viewers to ponder their mysterious implications. The series' impact goes beyond the small screen. Brooks' departure after the pilot didn't diminish the show's influence, especially on subsequent spy comedies. The ensemble cast, featuring the likes of Agent 99 and The Chief, added depth to the narrative. Their dynamics set a standard for chemistry in the genre, influencing later productions attempting to replicate their success. As the spy comedy wave surged, its influence extended to movies and other media. The bumbling yet endearing spy persona became a touchstone for creators seeking inspiration. The show's formula of blending humor with espionage intricacies became a blueprint for success, shaping the landscape of entertainment for years to come. In essence, it wasn't just a journey into the absurdities of spy life, it became a catalyst for a new wave of entertainment, leaving an enduring imprint on the industry. Its influence is detectable in subsequent shows and media, solidifying its place in the annals of television history. Agent 99, whose real name remains undisclosed throughout the series, adds an element of mystery to get smart. Even when she marries the bumbling yet lovable spy, she is only occasionally referred to as Mrs. Smart. In one episode, her name is hinted to be Susan Hilton, but later she dismisses it as an alias, keeping her true identity shrouded in secrecy. Barbara Feldon's initial reluctance to commit to the series is noteworthy. Initially, she resisted signing the conventional five-year contract, only agreeing to four episodes. After filming the pilot, Feldon extended her commitment, but opted for a three-year contract. Eventually, she agreed to two more years after the third season. This negotiation journey showcases the evolving dynamics behind the scenes. The show's influence extends beyond its comedic brilliance. Notably, it served as the primary inspiration for Inspector Gadget, a subsequent animated series where the main character was voiced by Don Adams. Both characters, Maxwell Smart and Inspector Gadget, share the common trait of being bumbling and inept agents. Lines such as, would you believe, and sorry about that, Chief transcended Get Smart and found a new home in Inspector Gadget's dialogues. In summary, Agent 99's mysterious identity, Barbara Feldon's contract negotiations, and the lasting impact on pop culture, as seen in Inspector Gadget, contribute to the multifaceted legacy of the 1965 spy sitcom. These aspects, coupled with the comedic genius of the writing and the ensemble cast chemistry, make Get Smart a timeless piece of television history.